Okay, so the plan today is to go out and catch a wild surface in the wild. Yeah, a wild surface. And we're not just looking for any surface because there's many different kinds of surfaces. You have rough surfaces, you have smooth surfaces, you have jagged surfaces. We're looking for a Surface Pro. Okay, so my cameraman just informed me right behind me is a Surface. Now what kind it is, I don't know. We're gonna get up close and personal and see what it is. Okay, so this is a dry surface. Okay, this is what I would like to call the Snoop Dogg surface. The reason why I call it that is because the green kind of resembles the sticky, icky, icky. It appears my cameraman has found something and he told me if I just look through this hole right here in the camera, I'll be able to spot a surface. Oh my God, my eyes, what was wrong with you? Okay, so the sun's going down. We have very limited amounts of time to catch the surface for in the wild. But while we were walking through the woods, we came across a facility, it's behind me. And inside, there is a Surface Pro 4. Let's have a look. It's been a long time since I actually used a Windows platform device or PC. The great reviews on Windows 10 really interested me and I wanted to take a look at their new lineup. So. First, I'm going to be taking a look at the Surface Pro 4, and then next month I'll be looking at the Surface Book. It comes in different variants, ranging from 800 bucks to, you know, 2000 plus. This is the mid-range. It's got the Core i7, 256 gigabytes of storage on an SSD, as well as eight gigabytes of RAM. And it comes in a very incredible compact form. It's very light, it's very slim. And thanks to the kickstand on the back, being able to pretty much put it in any angle for your pleasure, it's great. And it's not like a kickstand that's dedicated to different type of pivots. You could pretty much angle it any way you want. Now on the actual Surface Pro itself, you only have one USB port. But on the wall brick, you have another USB port. On the front side, you're gonna find two front facing speakers, which sound incredible. Uh, they give you a great media consumption experience, whether you're watching a YouTube video, you know, doing some Netflix. I didn't do any gaming on this. I'm not really a computer gamer, period, whether it's on Mac or PC. At the top, you're gonna to find a five megapixel camera, a microphone, it actually has a flash on the front, and then you're gonna find some dedicated sensors. On the back side, you have a eight megapixel camera, which again, uh, the quality is going to be tablet quality, and I don't advise anybody to hold this thing up and use that huge 12.3-inch uh, display as a viewfinder. You're just gonna look mighty funny. So going back to the front of this thing, you're going to find a gorgeous 12.3-inch display with pixel sense technology, has excellent viewing angles. Colors are very, very beautiful. I mean, uh, looking at this thing is just great. It's not too overly saturated, but it's still saturated enough to give you a very wonderful viewing experience. Everything is nice and sharp, and the resolution is over Quad HD, but not quite 4K. Um, when it comes to something of this form factor, whether I was looking at uh, my iPad Air or even my MacBook Pro 15 inch, this thing just has a much better display. One thing I love about using the Surface Pro 4 was the fact that everything attaches magnetically. Even the Surface Pen, it just clips right there on the side magnetically. Um, the charger inputs magnetically and the uh, keyboard cover, you know, clicks into place magnetically and everything gives you a nice comforting uh, click or snap letting you know that it's in place. The Surface Pro 4 does come with a Surface Pen out of the box. If I remember correctly, the Surface Pro 3 did not. You had to buy that separately. But the keyboard cover, you do have to spend extra money on. I believe they're about 130 bucks, but you can pay a little bit more and get one that has a built-in fingerprint scanner for uh, security features like a LastPass that is a password manager. But ultimately, I don't think it gives you more security. The Surface Pen works phenomenal. The only thing I have ever used close to resembling this was the S Pen, and it worked great. But this just takes everything to a new level. Um, handwriting recognition is awesome. Um, it actually pretty much gets every word that I say spot on and then interprets it into text. So I can actually you know, do handwriting to respond to people on Hangouts, uh, go to a website, do a search, and it pretty much gets everything that I'm trying to say right off the bat. 
In fact, it's better than the autocorrect found on the Surface Pro 4's uh, keyboard or Windows 10 keyboard, I guess you would say. But also the fact that if you click the button at the top, it will quickly launch OneNote so you can jot down something or even draw if you want to. And if you hold it down, it will access Cortana. Onto the type keyboard or the keyboard cover, whatever you want to look at it, the Surface keyboard. I have the blue one here. It does have backlighting on the keys, which can be adjusted right there on the keyboard. Works fantastic. For a keyboard cover, this is probably one of the best ones I've used. Very thin, very lightweight, and serves its purpose, and it serves its purpose well. So let's get down to software. Windows 10. This is my first time using Windows in years, like I said. So I was very psyched to try it out, and honestly, I have no regrets. Windows 10 is extremely fluid and nothing like I remember Windows to be. Some of the software features are great found in this. You do have a battery saver, which battery life on this is not bad. Um, it doesn't get me through a full day of use if I'm using it continuously. Uh, I would say probably about seven hours for me of full use. The notification tray found within the software works great. Um, the keyboard that is on the touchscreen itself to me is absolutely horrendous. It's one of the worst keyboards I have ever used on any mobile device or computer or whatever. It just has no type of autocorrect outside of apps that are not default on the Surface itself. When it comes to the performance on this thing, it's incredible, especially for the package that you're getting. It's so compact, it's so lightweight, it's so portable and performance is just phenomenal. I even edited this entire video using Adobe Premiere, which a lot of other reviewers said couldn't be done because of the lack of a graphics chip or graphics support, but it did a great job. Um, doing basic editing, basic color correction, you know, no problems at all. Um, I even applied a LUT using Film Convert, and it did great. There was a few crashes, though. It was a rough road, but it still accomplished it, which was mind-blowing considering how portable this thing is. I've seen a lot of other reviews talking about how this thing doesn't get hot or the fans aren't loud. And in my experience, that is not so. When the fans kick on on this thing, it's pretty loud. If you're consuming media on this, playing a game, whatever it is you're doing, you're gonna hear the fans. And when it comes to the heating, um, this thing does get hot. I've had it on my lap while downloading apps, um, even watching videos or doing some playback on Premiere and it gets hot. So when I got this thing, my goal was to alleviate the need for a 15 inch MacBook Pro and my iPad Air, have an all-in-one and be able to edit my stuff on the go and pack in something like the Blue Yeti uh, for mobile voiceovers. And overall, I think it does accomplish that, but I'm not ready to get rid of my 15 inch MacBook Pro because the performance on this just isn't quite there. So if you do a lot of After Effects or Premiere or even some very intense Photoshop, um, I wouldn't get the Surface Pro 4. Um, I'll let you know my recommendation with the Surface Book at a later given time. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. If you guys like the video, make sure you go ahead and like it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content, and follow the links in the description below for purchasing any of the stuff you've seen here. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be easy.